Fascism, What It Is and How to Fight It, by Leon Trotsky. Fascism, What Is It? Extracts from a Letter to an English Comrade, November 15, 1931. Printed in The Militant, January 16, 1932. What is fascism? The name originated in Italy. Were all the forms of counter-revolutionary dictatorship fascist or not? That is to say, prior to the advent of fascism in Italy? The former dictatorship in Spain of Primo de Rivera, 1923-1930, is called a fascist dictatorship by the common turn. Is this correct or not? We believe that it is incorrect. The fascist movement in Italy was a spontaneous movement of large masses, with new leaders from the rank and file. It is a plebeian movement in origin, directed and financed by big capitalist powers. It issued forth from the petty bourgeoisie, the slum proletariat, and even to a certain extent from the proletarian masses. Mussolini, a former socialist, is a self-made man arising from this movement. Primo de Rivera was an aristocrat. He occupied a high military and bureaucratic post and was chief governor of Catalonia. He accomplished his overthrow with the aid of state and military forces. The dictatorships of Spain and Italy are two totally different forms of dictatorship it is necessary to distinguish between them. Mussolini had difficulty in reconciling many old military institutions with the fascist militia. This problem did not exist for Primo de Rivera. The movement in Germany is analogous mostly to the Italian. It is a mass movement, with its leaders employing a great deal of socialist demagogy. This is necessary for the creation of the mass movement. The genuine basis for fascism is the petty bourgeoisie. In Italy, it has a very large base, the petty bourgeoisie of the towns and cities, and the peasantry. In Germany, likewise, there is a large base for fascism. It may be said, and this is true to a certain extent, that the new middle class, the functionaries of the state, the private administrators, etc., can constitute such a base. But this is a new question that must be analyzed. In order to be capable of foreseeing anything with regard to fascism, it is necessary to have a definition of that idea. What is fascism? What are its base, its form, and its characteristics. How will its development take place? It is necessary to proceed in a scientific and Marxian manner. End of section one. What is fascism?